what is good everyone db zoom back at you with a brand new video if you guys love dragon ball legends and you guys enjoy my content please don't forget to smash that like button and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because i try to bring daily value to my youtube and fun videos like this one so today guys we're gonna be talking about the top 10 most wanted zenkais this is my list i want you guys to drop down in the comment section below your list as well because i'm actually really curious uh but yeah let's just not waste any time let's just get right into it and i'm gonna give uh, my reasons on why they should uh get a zenkai starting off with the kingpin of them all i think is this um the dbs transforming uh broly the reason why i want this guy to be a zenkai number one He's one of the coolest uh, units in the whole game. You cannot put, I, I'm going to use this a lot, this video, but you cannot put a unit like this to waste. You can't, you just can't put a cool transformation, cool R card, cool uh, uh, ultimate move. I, I can almost guarantee you at some point in time, this guy will get Zenkai. Uh, his super is just really good. He has blast armor. He's just one of the coolest looking units in the game. And as well as um, uh, Sagas from the movies really needs it. So if anybody wants to get it, if I, I want anybody to get a Zenkai, it's this guy right here. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would agree with me here. Uh, he would be really good. I, I, I know that. That's the whole point of Zenkais. Uh, but yeah, this guy's for sure in my top 10. Um, by the way, guys, this is not in particular in any order. This is just my top 10 of what I want to be Zenkai. So uh, yeah, let's just move on to the next one. It's starting to get good, guys. This one right here. All right, so if this guy gets a Zenkai, he's going to be an absolute beast just because he's he has endurance. We forget that this character exists and he has endurance. He's so outdated, this guy. I think he came on the first step of banner with Hercule. Uh, and um, it was... It was it was the first step of banner without the without LFs, before LFs even were out, which was Hercule, him, and Kaioken Goku. So if this guy gets a Zenkai, Frieza Force really needs it. And for those of you guys who are saying, um, well, we have Golden Frieza, he'd be great. I mean, yeah, Golden Frieza is still very good. He has great blast damage, does great damage to, um, uh, to Saiyans and all that. But let's just be real here, guys. If this guy gets a Zenkai with Endurance, it's GG, and I would definitely uh, Zenkai him. All right, so this next one, do not get triggered, please. I'm going to just explain why. Very simple, and I'm going to use the same uh, theory I used with uh, Broly. So this next one is yellow hits. If this guy gets a Zenkai, he'd probably be the best unit in the game, and he'd be pretty broken. And people are saying, people in the comments are pretty, pretty much going to say, hey, DB Zoom, why, why, why are you mentioning yellow hit? He's already really good. All right, for starters, his defense is absolute trash. He, he crumbles more than a na uh, nature value bar. So he crumbles really, really fast. He has great offense with his criticals. And uh, one of the reasons, two of the reasons I, I want him to get a Zenkai is one, he's actually a fan favorite. And you cannot put a unit this cool to waste. You cannot. I mean, this unit is so... Uh, you can't get cooler. Him and Broly, you cannot get cooler than these units, right? Uh, he's definitely a fan favorite. Number two, I just really want Universe 6 to be... Um, to be to be optimal they're not a good team they're not a good team at all so if he gets a zenkai and and, and there's ways to like just because he's getting a zenkai doesn't mean you can't balance a zenkai usually right usually a zenkai has been getting really um really op like 18 just came out she's really op demon king pickle stuff like that but there's balances you can balance a zenkai unit and i and i think if they take an approach of a balance instead of just making this guy straight up a good zenkai unit like an amazing zenkai unit this guy could be a very cool unit to have i mean it's just hit guys come on it's we we want hit to be optimal he's just very not optimal in the meta right now let's just be real right and this next one's gonna tie into hit and um i'm explaining just why kaba all right, so Kaba, Super Saiyan Kaba, he's he's absolutely irrelevant in the meta, obviously. Now, a lot of people are probably going to say, I just want a brand new Kaba, maybe a transforming Kaba, and I definitely agree with you on that, but uh, I just wanted to tie in to uh, Hit. If Hit gets a Zenkai, people are going to be saying, all right, so he doesn't really have a good team except for yellow, yellow, blue, and stuff like that, uh, uh, double color teams. But if uh, maybe this Kaba were to get a Zenkai along with Hit, not along, I'm sorry, like maybe in a span of three months, if they both were to get a uh, Zenkai and then you probably bring in a new Kale or even Zenkai the Kale instead and stuff like that, I just want... Um, I just want DBS, and I know they're gonna get their time, but I just want DBS and Universe Six uh, to get their, uh, their to get their shine, you know, to get their shine because these units are, let's just be real, very irrelevant, right? But it'd be I really I love to see this. Next up, uh, this one, a lot of people are saying it. I'm not a fan of this character just in general of the character in general, but uh, I still think this um, Super Saiyan Vegeta GT uh, definitely deserves a Zenkai uh, just because. He would, uh, I mean, I mean, he would probably make Vegeta family very OP, but uh, besides Vegeta family, I'm trying to focus on GT here. 
I think you'd be very optimal for GT. I don't think we have any GT, um, any GT Zenkai's at all. So GT is still very good. I mean, every unit at this point, you're making every team uh, very, very valuable. Valuable. I mean, you could still play with him. You know, you could still play with him. So um, just because I'm naming out a character here like a Vegeta Yellow, there's gonna be another another tag uh, another, another character in that tag with the same colors there's just this game has been on for two years and a half there's going to be multiple colors and tags the same character so what i'm trying to say is that even though there might be um let's just say rage trunks right the, the one we have for the anniversary second anniversary uh this character can still be very optimal for gt as well so i'm just giving my thoughts next up we have somebody i really think needs a um a zenkai is metal cooler number one he's just a really cool unit uh, i i love the unit just in general uh but most importantly lineage of evil definitely needs to be revamped uh and they i i think they kind of need a red unit because um people will probably be saying yeah we have the transforming uh frieza the golden frieza but let's just be real he's just not very optimal at the point uh anything zenkai pretty much just tops anything that's not zenkai at this point so uh yeah lineage of evil hasn't been getting that much shine hopefully they bring out a mech uh, Frieza and a uh, King Cole and stuff like that. I'd really love to see that. So if they do something around those lines and Zenkai him, uh, you you got yourself a pretty good team with Zenkai, um, the Final Form Cooler as well. So yeah, this next one's gonna be very interesting. And hear me out. This next one is the Yellow Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So Super Saiyan God, as much as good units they do have, like uh, Vegeta Blue, uh, Beerus, LF Vegeta, and stuff like that. Even Shallot um they're just not used too much in the meta maybe just because not a lot of people have lf beers lf uh vegeto blue i mean even though i do see vegeto blue everywhere but they're still very hard units to pull um i think and they do need a solid yellow unit now for the, those of you who are saying super saiyan blue kao can goku is a very solid unit. yeah he's a very solid solid unit but let's just be real here anything zenkai would thrump any other uh solid unit and this guy actually has a really cool cover change as well and uh, he actually looks very badass. So uh, definitely somebody on my list. Next up is somebody that will tie, in, tie into female warriors and GT. And you guessed it. Somebody that really needs it is Pan. Now, she actually has a very good kit, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't want to go over her full kit. But I remember her having a very solid kit. Uh, but yeah, she's one of the first sparkings to ever come out. Uh, the, the top five sparkings. And uh, yeah, my light went off in the back. Excuse me. Uh, she's very, um, she would fit well into GT for a blue unit, even though they have baby, uh, and then she would fit in, uh, into female warriors as well. So why not? That's actually a two for one. So I, I really would love to see her next up. We have super Saiyan Bardock. Now he would be OP as well. Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, this art looks crazy. I mean, I, I, I by the way, I edited all these, uh, arts right here. So it took me a little bit of time, maybe like 30 minutes or so, but yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this guy right here, if you, especially if that other um, DBS transforming Broly gets a Zenkai, this guy would be absolutely nasty, uh, especially with everything else. I mean, supposedly I made a video that he got hinted uh, by Toshi for because Toshi was playing uh, with this specific Bardock only versus somebody from V Jump uh, from the V Jump, one of the one of the people from V Jumps with the hats and stuff like that. And I made a video about this, but yeah, this Bardock would be actually really cool, and he would bring Saints right back into the meta. Next up, um, we have. Great Saiyan Man 2. Now, I think she's going to get a Zenkai very soon because we've been getting hints of her. I I, I just I want to say her just because female warriors definitely needs to be brought back into the map. Um, I think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to bring out uh, every team, trying to make every team sort of relevant in terms of Zenkais, uh, even Zenkais and stuff like that. We just got Android 18, and I think every team is going to have eventually at least two to three uh, Zenkais in the near future. So I think she's should be very optimal. She's a cool unit too, and she's a red unit. Uh, they have Android 8, the red Android 18, but let's be real, she's not optimal like if she were to get a Zenkai. So, um, so yeah, guys, this is my list, especially this Bardock right here. Um, uh, make sure you guys comment in the comment section below what you guys think about this list and and what what you would, you know, I'm actually curious to read your guys' comments of what you would want to be Zenkai as well. I'm going to go right ahead and toss in a wild card before I go. I'm going to say Instant Transmission Goku. I didn't add him here because I think he'd be really OP with this super. He'd pretty much be like an LF Goku, but on the roids to be really honest with that counter instant transmission counter now i would really want him to be a zenkai uh, instant transmission goku the green one 
Uh, but then, especially if this guy gets a uh, Zenkai and you pair him up with that, it'd be pretty lethal. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I always try to bring daily value to my YouTube and I'd really appreciate it as well. And I'll definitely um, catch you guys on the next video. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Peace.